Hey there guys, uh, my name is Ethel. I'm the designer and owner of Raid Motorcycle Luggage, Soft Luggage uh, in Australia. Um, I'm just gonna take you through how to fit the bag to the motorcycle. As I said, um, as I said before, and how it's advertised is to, to fit any adventure motorcycle on the market. You can even fit it to a pure dirt bike. I know a lot of guys like to take dirt bikes and use them for adventure riding. So you can even fit them to a dirt bike. They're designed to be extremely versatile. Um, you will notice there is another bag on the market that is very similar, or should I say slightly similar. The concept's the same, but I didn't copy the bag. Uh, it's just the concept is the same uh, in that it's U-shaped. But you will look, if you see how uh, my bag attaches, it's quite different to how the competition attaches to their motorcycles. So um, yeah, let's have a look quickly at how it's attached. So first up, um, there you can see the bag and how it's attached is this bottom piece over here. This will attach to the passenger foot peg bracket, okay? Now, all adventure motorcycles will have a passenger foot peg bracket. It will attach to that. For the pure dirt bikes that don't have passenger foot pegs, there will be some part of the frame. Now, this is a DR650, so obviously frame designs are different. But all the uh, dirt bikes that I've looked at, um, that my customers have bought these bags, have been happy because they've been able to attach this strap, which we call the leg strap, to the frame or to the footrest passenger footrest bracket okay going up the next strap up is the compression strap that's not for attachment that's just for compressing the bag if you have less luggage in this bag is full at the moment it's actually got packaging uh, stuff in it so it doesn't actually have luggage in it at the moment but it's got packaging stuff but yes it's a compression strap so when you don't have a lot of luggage in there you can compress it going up the top these straps over here, these are the long straps. The reason why the strap is so long is because you can use it for either attaching luggage to the top of the bag, such as a sleeping bag or a tent, it'll loop through that and then clip into here. Or you can use it for going underneath your subframe putting it through here and looping it back over the top doing this one-handed <laughs> it's a little bit difficult <laughs> all right there we go okay so and then you can push it into there i can just get this in there we go all right so that's the one way to attach it so you'll do the same with the other strap um right so that's like i said going underneath the subframe over the top that's one way to attach it you can ratchet it down same with the other one, do the same. Also go underneath the subframe, back over to the top and attach it that way. Now the other straps you'll see, these straps here are designed for carrier racks. If your motorcycle has a carrier rack, aftermarket carrier rack, carrier rack it came out with, or it's got grab handles like this motorcycle has, it doesn't have a carrier rack, but it's got grab handles, they can attach to the carrier rack or the grab handles. Okay, and that's the way to attach the raid bag. Very easy to attach it, quick and simple. Just remember, like you see here, I've wrapped this around here because you don't want loose straps flapping around in the wind and getting caught on things. Always make sure that you tie up the loose ends of the straps and secure them, okay? Great bag. Uh, I've had lots of people use them in the outback all over, well tested. They're tough, and the great thing is, 
when you're on the bike it actually fits behind you doesn't stick out get snagged on things if you can make it past something the bag will and it keeps the scent of gravity low by packing your heavy stuff into the legs and the lighter stuff at the top that's it thanks uh, for watching and i hope you have a great adventure out there see ya